Now explain to us, uh, if you will, because we've got the basic concept and we've been talking about it all week. Yeah, excellent. $6 will feed 100 people. That's right. And we know that it's with some kind of rice mix, mm -hmm. which you've brought along. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this mix. Yeah, it's, a, it's a called a fortified rice meal. So it's rice and it has dehydrated vegetables, minerals and vitamins and a little bit of soy in it. It's designed by some food experts to be healthy and nutritious for children who really are struggling for a, da a daily meal. Wow. Just you know, reading some of the, the nutritional information, I mean, yeah, 11 grams of protein it, it per serve, that's, I mean, it's a pretty chunky, pretty healthy kind of thing, I, I suppose. It, it, amazing that this can get overseas a hundred of these meals can get to places where it's needed for six bucks. How does that work? Yeah, well, we work with an organization. It's all part of a team. And so this particular organization, uh, it's called Feed My Starving Children, and they make this uh, rice meal and they donate it. So they get it all together in a big shipping container, about 270,000 meals in one container. Wow. And they look for charities like us to donate it to. They give it to us for free, so all we have to do is pay for the shipping to get it right around the world. That's and when we do it that way, that's why $6 will provide 100 meals. That's amazing, isn't it? Now, um, so people today, I mean, you can do it online, yep. absolutely, um, which is great, but also people can come down here today, uh, literally rock up with $6, mm -hmm. and if they hand that $6 over here in Parramatta, then uh, 100 meals like this, yep. you can't see it, but yeah. For those without the benefit of television. <laughs> yeah, um, 100 of these meals will go over to which countries? Yeah, we're in 18 countries at the moment. So we do some work in South America, Africa and Asia. So places like Uganda, Kenya, Liberia, Brazil. We're in Indonesia, India. Uh, we're doing some work in China and uh, places like that. Fantastic. All around the world. We will Still. talk more as the, uh, the morning goes on, but that is, it's just great. And it looks pretty healthy. It looks, yeah. it, it, read some of the stuff in it. You know this now, Mr. Big Bodybuilder, man. There's yeah. some good stuff in there. Bodybuilders, <laughs> yeah. um, Well, Ben, hang around. We'll yeah. ask you some more questions very yeah. soon. You were there in a Dan live from Parramatta. You yeah. too, yeah. Home 1032. Aaron and Dan Church Street, more Parramatta. That's where we are. That is where we are. Um, we are speaking to Ben Evans, who is the director of Feed the Hungry Australia. Uh, that's why we're in Paramount today. It's all for Feed the Hungry. Uh, the, 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 I was going to say the idea, it's not just the idea. The fact is, if you bring along $6 today, you will feed 100 people. We just learned how that worked with um, this particular rice mix that has uh, vegetables and all sorts of things inside it. Um, Ben, as the director, you said you started in uh, 2004. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we were just chatting to you then about uh, what, what kind of keeps you going, what, 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 why haven't you left, especially when your first experience was the Boxing Day tsunami. Yeah. Um, wow. how, do you, how do you respond to that? When you just start working in an aid organisation, the first thing you see is just monstrous devastation, yet you're still here today. Yeah. I, I, I... We went on a trip about six weeks later after it, so early February, to, to Banda Aceh in Indonesia, really the epicenter of, of this disaster. My first trip. Wow. What a first trip to go on. And just to see firsthand the devastation, but also the people and how they survived. And it, it's, it's the people that we're helping. And we were able to meet uh, actually uh, Christians in the area, and they were telling us their stories uh, about uh, how they survived how they went through that thing and all they needed was food and some love and uh, that's that's my heart to, to be the voice and to help those people who are hungry right around the world uh, i think you asked before when we were chatting are you still there why are you still doing it? i said well uh, i have to who else is going to do it i have to do that wow can you estimate how many people have been fed so far through Feed the Hungry and, and what you're Well, I can, I can say we're feeding 27,290 children every day through this Takeaway Hunger program, yep. which we started um, really just five years ago. So it's a relatively new program. Uh, we started with the goal, we said, all right, we're gonna feed 1,000 children this year, and we just keep growing every year. Um, there's so many places that we can feed, so many friends that uh, are saying we need help, and so every year we're trying to stretch out. I guess we've got a goal to, to feed 100,000 children every day. To, to provide that, hunt, uh, that hot meal for them every day. So we're starting, we're doing what we can, and uh, right now, 27,290 children. That's amazing. So obviously, um, I mean, everyone can help. Uh, ideally, we'd love you to come down here today, check out the bands that are gonna be playing uh, live in Parramatta until 2 p.m. Uh, but if people can't make it to Parramatta because they're on the other side of Sydney or whatever reason, um, what's the website they can go to? Yeah, go to takeawayhunger.org. Nice and simple, um, that's our website, or you can call uh, call some, call our lovely people at the call centre, uh, working there, 
at 1300 0055 14. All right, 653 Aaron and Dan in Church Street, Mall, Parramatta.